now is the time for the next data type and that is boolean so like some of you who already have a background of programming are very much aware of what boolean data type is and what it is used for but like to those of you who do not know what boolean data type is used for is it is basically used to store the information of yes or no or true or false that's exactly what it does so if you want to store that uh, like is it true or is it false so in that case you'll not use any integer like you used to do in c or any other language like that we have a separate data type in apex which is called as boolean which stores both the values like over here in the program as well as well you can see we are storing um, like in boolean b variable we are storing true and b1 we are storing false so yeah i mean this is basically used to store true or false value and this like we use it a lot of time whenever we are uh, like we want to uh, like we, we want to compare both, uh, any two of the, uh, like any of the two things with each other and we want the result into a true or false or when we are using if conditions or when we are uh, like uh, like l using looping statements like while for and stuff like that so all of these things work into or like returns a boolean value which is nothing but true or false and over here if you can see i have written a simple expression which is 5 is greater than 7 so this greater than is a relational operator we're going to talk about it into the operators that we're going to discuss but you, you all know what it is greater than so uh, 5 is greater than 7 or not yes or no it's not it is smaller than 7 so it will return a false value so all the relational operators returns a boolean value and we can simply store those values in a boolean uh, variable 